Hello Cancerian, happy Valentine's Day to you my darling. I hope you're having a beautiful day today. Much love to you. Thank you for being here. So we're going to take uh, a look, a general look at love for you this week. It is Valentine's Day, so let us see what's going on. So these are going to be general messages for you, Cancer, so they may not all apply to you because they're general, all right? So take the messages that do apply and the rest you let them fly. If you're interested in booking a personal reading, visit sagesensedhealing.com. Now let us get started. So Cancer, there is no love. I don't know why your message is, I did a love reading for you a few minutes ago, and it's almost the same thing. But the energy that came through is that there's any love. The card says, I can't seem to reach you, connection done, I feel you, I feel your love, and I want more. Downed lines, no physical connection, and so on and so forth. Alright, so... I just feel like your love connection is done right now, Cancer. You know, like your love lines are down. Like, or maybe someone is trying to reach out to you and they can't get through. Someone really wants to be in your energy. Like, they would love if you would pick up. See, the card says answer. They would love if you would pick up. But they can't get through. And I'm hearing the word protrude okay so they are watching you also all right someone is watching you maybe online i feel i'm really getting the energy of phone lines like physical phone lines and frequency or signals traveling along phone lines and there's a barrier here where you're not picking up and also on these phone lines or these lines these cable lines is where this person is watching you online okay so that's what's up for you in your love message today someone is watching you online so 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 will you answer will you pick up i feel like this is the way that they get to connect with you they find peace harmony here balance it feels like coming home it feels like a way they can feel a feeling satisfaction here a feeling of satisfaction by watching you pleasure you know it's like eating ice cream for this person they're eating ice cream with their eyes i don't know but that's how they communicate with you when you this is how they get to pick up this is how you pick up i mean you may not pick up on another line but at least they get to see you or communicate with you when they watch you in some way, shape, or form. form. I'm also seeing click here, click, like one click away, and that's how they communicate with you. Like, this is exactly how this person gets their answers. One click away. Now we have three eights on the board. This person could be Virgo. But the card says, this is true love, Cancer. The eight of hearts. This is true love. Someone really is obsessed with you and they feel like you are their true love maybe obsessed is true is is a strong word i'm sorry if i if it is too powerful i don't know like their heart rests upon you they're, they're they intend they know they feel like it's like this person assures themselves or they tell themselves that you are a true love. You represent a true love. This is true love. It's not. It's no lie. Even with the jack of swords, it has to be what is true. You know, the swords energy is truth. What is evident. Mm. I feel like something about you is evidence, Cancer. A feeling that you bear. A bit of sadness. Something that you've taken with you from a while back. I feel like this person, they can see that. When they watch you, they also see that. They see that part of you, that layer. Mm -hmm. That layer may keep you from being in your heart. Someone is sorry. Could be this person that watches you. Maybe that's a message that they would like to send out to you. That's how they, This is how they're communicating through you sending a message by way of this reading like they're sorry 
that's the answer it's like they can i don't know if someone hurt you and they can see or sense the layer of hurt still on you when they look at you i i wonder you know the ace of like a lot of people get this card today the ace of um diamonds new love feelings of newness twin flame energy new vision i feel like this person really feel like you are their twin flame but they are separate from you they're disconnected because they've hurt you they and this person knows the truth and they they're keeping themselves away because they don't want to hurt you anymore something like that like they are loving you from a distance I don't know, Cancer. The Ten of Hearts, a heart connection. So, this is the only one. Oh, this person could be a bachelor. Look, dreaming, tired, drowsy. It feels like all that this person does is watch you. Like they may be alone, and all that they do is spend time and watch you. It's actually beautiful in a sense. But cancer for you, I have to tell you the truth. I feel like, you know, it's it's beautiful. It's like a, a one lonely soul to another, in a sense. Like someone in, in a room trapped in one corner of the world. And another person in another corner of the world trapped in a room. And they're both able to connect through these lines, you know, online. And even though both of these people are alone, because I'm feeling people in a dark room, even though both of you are alone, it feels like pen pal energy. You know, it's like writing and communication. Someone is sorry about something. There's a truth, something hidden. It's like someone knows that they're not being upfront with you. Someone knows that they're not telling you the honest truth, maybe about where they are. You know what I mean? Yeah, so even though you guys are writing back and forth, they still haven't, or they, maybe they can't tell you where they are and they're really in their hearts. They're sorry about that. They're sorry that they're not able to be honest or to be truthful. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Jack of Hearts. You know, this one wants to say something. Then someone is lying like a lion tongue with the ten of swords here. But someone wants to say something. This person wants to say, I love you. I, I long for you. I hope something I wish to achieve you. Like something like that. Like they wish they could tell you the truth. They wish they didn't have to lie. There's no connection without you not having you. Just waiting, done. It makes me sad. I'm feeling nothing. I can't wait for a new beginning. I, well, you know, it's, someone may be like in jail or something, writing back and forth to you, and they are going to be free soon or something like that. But they just can't tell you the truth. Maybe not prison, but jail in some way, shape, or form, cancer. This is intriguing, honestly. This is intriguing. This is an, this is nice to see. Look, we have the Jack of Hearts, the Ten of Hearts, the Jack of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Like two people, like your backs are turned to, but you are, in a sense, still connecting. But there's a disconnect here. It is as if you both are closer than you think. It is as if I'm saying there are two different rooms across the world when. Both rooms are actually back to back. And you thought you were all the way over there and this person was all the way over yonder. But you're actually mates. You know what I mean? And maybe one of you knows the truth. Knows that you're actually closer than you appear. Something like that. But someone is not being honest. It could be this one that's not being honest. The Jack of Hearts. It's like he's threatened. He has a hack. An axe to his head. Like, don't you dare speak. He can't speak. He can write, but he's being watched. He can speak, but there are certain things he can't say. 
and the hair his hair right here or her is very symbolic it i can feel the hair on this person's face here so maybe someone has facial hair or something about a feeling on the cheek maybe it's a call maybe it's a phone call like a cellular phone receiver on the face speaking sending a message and then someone is receiving this information which is this jack it's like being receiving what i'm saying gathering the information like you're probably surprised at this you're like oh this is what is going on oh is that so you know what i mean hmm i must shuffle once and see if there is anything that wants to come through you know cancer the person that's watching you they love you or they have a sense that they truly love you and that you're soulmates, that you inspire them, you have similar values. But they may leave, they may stop writing you or stop communicating with you after you find out the truth. Cancer, wow. So, to continue this love reading, let's see if I can remember all of this information. So here it is, Cancerian. Remember I was saying both of you are closer together than you know. Back to back, right? But there's something that was hidden. I feel like this person is going to send you a message and confess to you who they truly are. I feel like there's someone among you, like in some cases... You have a friend that is a undercover in some way, shape, or form. Like, literally, like, this person changes clothes and go do something else, like Superman would. But not really superhero vibration. It's just the energy of someone who is undercover, like a sleuth, a detective. And then at nighttime or whenever, they really change their appearance. You know what I mean? Um, this person is going to come clean. I feel like this person is a light worker in some way, shape, or form. And when that happens, you're going to realize the truth. Because I feel like that's all that they want to do is to tell you the truth of who they really are. And this person may send you a picture that you're going to be looking at okay like they may say this is who i am okay because i feel like this person is ready to meet with you with the two of cups energy like soulmate soul tie energy they want to come out of the dark out of the shadows i feel it has been hard for this person to be truthful or something like that not making excuses for anyone it's as if they've been working behind the scenes on some project like this person you know when you go to those movies and there's this person behind the curtain controlling the the real like this person knows intel on your life or something like that like they like you are in a movie and this person is right wants to connect with you in that movie to tell you some truth you know that movie um the true man show with um with Jim Carrey, right? And he was in a movie, but there was this girl outside of the movie that wanted to give him a message inside the movie, something like that. So this person may be working in the background of something, and they may want to reach out to you to tell you the truth. So they're going to reveal themselves, hope, hoping that you may understand or forgive, and there may be healing for the both of you. Because I feel like this person has a heart of fire and desires to be with you and is compelled to do this, to take this action because of how they feel and these desires. I feel like you may say no. And I honestly feel like this person wants to be intimate with you. But I feel like you may say no to what that? Some... In something that they're trying to put to send toward you like this person may trying to maybe trying to give you something and you may refuse it reject it I don't know why you may do that maybe because of the root maybe because of the lie maybe you haven't forgiven because we have you saying no here which is no connection blocking of the light not the truth lies betrayal sadness hurt 
and shying away and then we have the true revelation the full expression you know the vibrant expression and even grace here courage so i feel like that's beautiful cancer the ending of this message for you uh, of what's been going on in your love energy so we'll see if someone is going to reveal some truth i feel like this person you've been writing back and forth with them like i see it's the energy i wanted to find out who this person is how they came about but i'm not sure it feels like you know when you're playing um skipping like something was already in motion and they just jumped in and maybe started messaging you like the messaging was already in motion and then they just took over took control of it or maybe got more intrigued i don't know so maybe that's how it started so we'll see all right thank you so much for listening i hope you found some messages that resonates with you and can help you on your journey if you did like the video share it with those you love subscribe to the channel come back around again for whenever i upload new content for you darling and i will see you then enjoy the rest of your day it's beautiful all right much love also don't forget to check out being beauty journey to self-love on amazon for your healing and well-being and for it's a story that maybe you can relate to if you are going through a tough time for you to realize you're not alone and someone has experienced maybe something that you're going through currently and that someone is more and i wrote it in a book being beauty on amazon um check it out thanks for all of your support much love to you Happy Valentine's Day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care until next time. Remember that all is within you. Bye.